Now, uh, we've done a round table with you before because we love Law School. Oh, yay! Thank you so much so, for saying that. Oh, of course. Now, oh, yay! Oh, good! Yeah. Yeah. So, we love all these shows. What can fans of Law School wider, what can they hope to see in Winona? In Winona? Right. I really do think if you love Law School, you're going to absolutely love Winona Earp. I feel like Winona and Bo have so much in common. They're both so witty, so warm, but kind of messes, right? They don't arrive fully formed. They really have to figure out what's up and decide to be a hero and what that's going to look like. Um, I really love humor and dark humor. I think, you know, if you're throwing these characters into a western world full of demons that uh, bleed brown tobacco gook, it better be fun, you know? Um, so that's what I'm excited about. I just really love genre that's fun. And then hopefully when you fall in love with the characters like you did with Bo and Kenzie and Lauren and Dyson, hopefully we can gut punch you if something, you know, tragic happens to them or just watching them, you know, console each other on a couch. I hope that really you come for the relationships or maybe I should say that another way. You come for the genre, you come for the demon fighting, but I sure hope you fall in love with the characters and the relationship as you did on Lost Girl and Killjoys. So what were some of the challenges of adapting the comic book into a TV series? Well, I mean, it's always funny, right? In a comic book, you can do absolutely anything. My joke to Bo is one of my favorite sequences in the comic book has Wynonna fighting a bunch of gremlins on a jet plane. And I'm like, okay, we don't have a plane. We need gremlins to work camera. We cannot do this, right? I mean, it's just like you can do anything on the page, and TV is TV. On the other hand, I feel like you have an hour of television every week to explore these characters and tell these stories. So that was really fun. It really became about Winona's origins and who is she, and introducing these new characters and really getting to know her. So that was kind of the trade-off, I think. So second season premiere, are we going to see her fighting? I can't wait to see you. Oh, baby, yeah, definitely. If not on a jet plane, how about mm, a submarine? Is that cheaper? I don't know. But yeah, I would love that. Even one gremlin. Awesome. Okay. And let me ask, how do you um, how do you sort of separate this show? Now, we're talking to Bo, and yeah. you know, he made this comic book way before shows like Supernatural and yeah. Lost Girl. Yes. How do you separate this show from, from all these other Supernatural shows? You know what? I really, truly do believe this is something that is not on television right now. And the element that is different besides Melanie, who plays Winona, is the West. I think we have so many amazing genre shows that are very shades of blue. I mean, literally blues and grays and the claustrophobia of a spaceship, you know, kind of a tin can. This is almost the opposite. This is kind of the paranoia of open space, of endless vistas, you know. You can see something slouching toward town, but you can't necessarily stop it. And that feels really interesting. It's also a winter show, so there's that added element of, um, God, if I uh, get hurt fighting a demon, I could literally die out here in the woods, freeze to death. So I felt like that felt quite fresh and a little bit of a twist on the genre. Awesome. I know that one of uh, one of the people from Lost Girl is on the show, okay. but any chance we'll see uh, any of the other stars? Oh my guest God. They can all come over, especially those girls. I would love to get Anna, Zoe, or Kenzie on anytime. I should say Ksenia, sorry, but yeah, I'll write a spot for them, no problem at all. So if I can win them over, you bet. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much, you guys. I hope you enjoy it, okay? Oh, Thanks a lot.